Now, Troy, um, you wanted to share your Oscar nomination with the deaf community, and I, in all my reading and research, thought you were so incredibly ingratiating and sharing of this extraordinary moment in your life to just open it up to everyone else. And we have several people in our audience, including students from the New York School for the Deaf. And we have one gentleman here. Um, Manuel, uh, would you like to share your story with Troy and Marley? He's asking, may I stand? Hi, I'm not sure if you remember me, but I remember you when you came to Fanwood, New York School for the Deaf. And Marley, I remember you. You've come to the school quite some time, and I'm so excited that you'll get the nomination and the award next month. We're definitely excited in the deaf community. We ins you're inspired us all, and because of you in that movie, we want more. Thank you, and I love you so much. I love the New York School for the Deaf. They're, it's Thank called Fanwood, and we love Fanwood. Thank you so much, Manuel, for your beautiful words. And may I ask you guys, as a last question, did you know while you were making this film that it would literally make history? Yes. Yes! Yes, and... 2,000%, 2,000%. And it's historic, too. Well, I mean, while we were shooting the film, I told Troy, I said, this is, a, this is good stuff. I mean, I'm gonna be on my best behavior with my language here. I could have said something else, but anyway. Um, no, uh, this is, I, I knew that this is something that, that would be an eye opener for everyone, for the majority of people out there watching this film. They would be amazed from it. And yeah, I knew it. And my wife, who is a teacher of ASL, she teaches ASL classes, and her students had a little bit of an attitude and weren't coming to class and weren't doing their homework or weren't studying. And then they found out that her husband was nominated for an Oscar, and all these kids <laughs> changed their behavior, <laughs> suddenly respected my wife, and started studying yeah! and doing their homework. Yeah! And it made my wife's life so much easier as a teacher. How cool. Thank you, Coda. Well... I cannot thank you enough. <laughs> I have been waiting and anticipating this conversation and it truly is one of my favorite films and it is one of my daughter and I's favorite films now. So thank you for putting this out into the world. Um, I feel like from the scene also um, when she's singing that I need to read people's faces more and the way we realize um, a pivotal moment of someone's life is to see and recognize the joy that our children are bringing to people and how to help foster that. And it was a very awakening lesson for me. Amelia Jones, who played that role of our daughter, is just, I mean, I don't know if there's a right word, but she's the gem of all gems. And, I mean, she's such a talented actress, someone who played so many, I mean, she had so many hats during the making of this film. And Daniel Durant, who played uh, Leo in the film, our son. The four of us together just melded as actors. We trusted each other and had a lot of fun. It was hard work, but at the end, we were very grateful and grateful to be sitting here and sharing this story with you and everybody about our wonderful journey. Well, I, I'm so excited. I celebrate you. Marley, I love you. Troy, I'm so happy to finally make your acquaintance, and I will happily beg for more conversations with you anytime. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh, my goodness, everybody. Um, thank you, Marley, Troy. Thank you, Jack and Justin, so much. Jack, I've known you, again, as long as I've known Marley. Um, and I'm so happy to make your acquaintance, Justin. Um, Coda is available to stream now on Apple TV Plus. And be sure to watch the 94th Academy Awards this Sunday, March 27th on ABC. I will be cheering you on.